Hello everyone. Welcome back once again. We are going to explore Blend for Visual Studio 2020. A tool that helps you design standing the user interface. So if you are new to Blend or UI design in Visual Studio, this, this beginner's guide will get you started step by step. But before we get started, please make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And like the video if you can. So let's get straight into it. So what is what exactly is Blend? So Blend is a powerful design environment built, built into Visual Studio 2026. It's mainly used for creating beautiful XAML-based UIs for WPF, UWP, and .NET MAUI applications. Think of it as the bridge between coding and design. So to get us started to, or to launch um, Blend for Visual Studio, let's make sure that we've got it in support. So to do so, let's open our Visual Studio installer. So this is my Visual Studio installer. So as you can see, I've got um, uh, the, the 2023 community and I've got 2026. So th this video is for the 2026. So let's go ahead and, and click on modify. So once we um, here we've got uh, the workloads open. Okay, so to make sure that we've got a um, blend for Visual Studio installed, yeah, let make sure we select uh, we check the box the .NET Desktop Development. Okay, so once we check this box here, yeah, we get the installation details. Yeah, so if we uh, look inside installation details, as you can see here yeah, now, we've got blend for Visual Studio. Okay, so this is um the uh, blend, I mean, Blend for Visual Studio is a collection of design tools for building beautiful user interfaces with that XAML. Okay, so we got to make sure that we've got this box checked before we download and install. So once we've got all that sorted out, yeah, let's come back to our Visual Studio and then let's create a very simple WPF application just for this video. Okay, so we open our Visual Studio 2026 and then on the, on the um, on this side here, we select um, desktop. So this will actually display all the desktop projects that we can create. Okay, so as you can see here now, we've got um, WPF application. So this, this is a project template for creating a .NET WPF application. Let's select it, and it, let's select the C sharp as well. So here, obviously, you can configure your project details. We're not looking too much into that. So let's go ahead and click Next. Here, you can also select the, uh, the type of framework or the framework version that you want. So you can um, click on the Create here. This will create the new project. But I've already created one already, so I'm not going to do that. So I'll close that, this dialog. So this is the project that we've got created for us, OK? So if you are following from my previous video, which was getting started with Copilot and um, GitHub Copilot, it's an AI assisted environment. So this is the GitHub Copilot. This is where we're going to use a very simple design, okay? So as you can see here now, we've got an empty um, WPF project created for us. So let's go ahead and add something very simple using the GitHub Copilot. If you don't have it, make sure um, you watch my Previous video, get yourself set up with a bit of copilot. We're going to leave it on um, the agent mode. Yeah. So here, let's um, let's write something like this prompt: design um, a login um, screen for this um, project. So we can select the project, or we can select whatever particular file that we want to use by using the hashtag. Here we're going to select the project, and and it's a WP, uh, WPF app two dot CS project. Select this. For so this, we are actually by selecting this, 
we are actually um, selecting the whole project as in context. We can select a particular file if we want. Okay. But this is how we've actually selected the project. So now let's go and um, because we've actually selected the agent in there, so once we enter, it will add a bunch of files to our, um, I mean, to our uh, project for the login screen. So let's go ahead and click on send. So as you can see here now, by writing that prompt here, um, GitHub Copilot has actually added these files. So we've got a um, uh, login, uh, login window.xaml and then login window.xaml.cs. So basically, we've added a new screen or new view um, to the WPF project. So if you look at it here, this is just the changes that has been made. Yeah, so there's a new files that has been created for us. There's not been any change inside the main window. Okay. So right now it is building a solution. So we've got to wait for the solution to be built so that we can have a look at it and then transition these files, I mean this project from the Visual Studio into our blend for Visual Studio. So as you can see here now, we've got the um, login screen added so we can have a look at it so here before we we can take the login um Samuel, this is what we this is what we've got so basically it's actually mimicking what password and authentication that we did and whatnot okay and then um got the uh, the main design Okay, so we're not going to have a look too much into the main design. Let's move on to what we actually do. So we click on the keep here. So that all the files that have been added. Okay. So now let's come inside our solution explorer. So as you can see here now, we've got the login, um, log, uh, login window XAML added. So let's right click on the login window XAML. And if we right click it, as you can see, design in blend. Yeah. So let's Click on Design and Blend to open the blend of just a bit. So as we can see here now, um, our blend for Visual Studio opened with the files inside. So as you can see here now, we've got a bunch of things that we can have a look at. Yeah. So we've got the same. I mean, the same project being transferred into the Blend for Visual Studio for a very thorough design. So even if you look at the toolbar here, it's a little bit different from the Visual Studio. So here, you can you can do your design. So let's open the, the main window .xaml. So as you can see here now, we've got the, the we've got the main window in a design mode. So here you can have more um, uh, more assets and resources and more stuff in terms of design. I mean to design a very rich and interactive screen, whatever project that you're creating. Okay. So here there are a bunch of stuff, the controls that you can also use. Yeah, we're not going to look too much into that because this is not a video for it. This is just for us to get us set up and get started. So I don't want to complicate you too much. So I'm going to leave this video here right now so that we continue from the next stage in terms of when we get on to the learn portion. Look at how we can create certain stuff. stuff I mean, certain stuff on um, learn for you. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel, make sure you do because I've got lots of videos coming up. And I hope you have a lovely morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are. Peace.